Zimbabwe's economic trajectory will this year transition from recovery to growth on the back of a hugely prosperous 2021, in which the government funded a number of national development projects, despite the negative effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, President Nangagwa has said. The president made the remarks in his New Year message to the nation, warning the public against lowering their guard against the coronavirus. He said Zimbabweans must stay united and remain resilient if the country is to consolidate the socio-economic gains made in 2021. Notwithstanding the new normal brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, you have all risen to the occasion which has seen us weathering the storm and moving our economy forward towards achieving our vision of a prosperous and empowered upper-middle-income society," President Nangagwa said. Let us, therefore, remain united as we safeguard the gains we made in 2021 through working together. This will enable us to set a solid foundation for future generations. 2022 must be a year in which we focus on efficiencies through moving away from recovery to growth. Dot President Nangagwa said the 7.4% economic growth recorded in 2021, one of the highest in Africa, was a result of collective resolve shown by Zimbabweans, adding that 2022 will be even better if people continue working together. This 7.4% growth was underpinned by a successful agricultural season, characterized by higher production output, increased investments in capacity utilization in mining, as well as government-backed infrastructure development projects in roads, dam construction and housing, among others. The president recognized the informal sector for its role in economic recovery recorded in 2021. Women and the youth in both the formal and informal sectors were instrumental in the achievement of the phenomenal socio-economic growth projected for the year 2021, he said. As we move into 2022, my government will avail additional resources and facilities that enhance the participation of women and the youth in the development of Zimbabwe. Dot President Nangagwa commended frontline workers in the health sector and the public in general for an excellent fight against COVID-19. Special mention also goes to all the friendly nations who availed vaccines and consumables to complement our efforts, he said. Together with your positive response to the health measures, we have been able to contain the pandemic and limit the loss of lives. Dot President Nangagwa warned Zimbabweans not to relax in the fight against the pandemic. It is, however, disheartening to note that there are some among us who have begun to lower their guard, especially during this festive season. I, therefore, urge you to continue abiding by health measures instituted by my government from time to time, masking up, sanitizing and maintaining social distance. Dot President Nangagwa also urged the unvaccinated to go and get the jab, adding that a national rollout for the booster jab will begin soon. On by elections that are going to be held this year, the president called for peace during the voting period. He said the country had made huge progress in infrastructure development under the devolution agenda. Under the devolution and the decentralization agenda, various projects have also significantly benefited our people through the construction of schools, clinics, as well as water and sanitation, infrastructure President Nangagwa said. These will vault the development of rural industry systems and increase the gross domestic product and quality of life in our rural communities. Our institutions of higher learning, using Education 5.0 philosophy, are also playing their part through the construction of innovation hubs and industrial parks. This has seen the development of many scientific inventions, nurturing of various startup companies, as well as the registration of numerous patents and the production of new products. 
Dot through unity of purpose, the president said, the government is developing a Zimbabwe that leaves no one and no place behind. Our education sector personnel and parents also did a splendid job which ensured that school children continue getting the education they so desperately deserve," he said. My government is committed to guaranteeing access to reading materials and online learning platforms so that education is accessible to all. Dot President Nangagwa commended all Zimbabweans who are leaving abroad for continuing to send remittances to their loved ones, saying they are making the sacrifice at a time they are confronted with difficulties of their own. With regards to the scourge of corruption, he exhorted Zimbabweans to be upstanding citizens who are full of integrity.